five pin relay works very similar to the four pin relay. The difference is with the five pin relay, we have this added pin in the center. A four pin relay would not have this added pin here, and that pin would be 87A. So a four pin relay would have pin 30, it would have pin 85, pin 86, and pin 87. Pin number 87A is added when you look at a five pin relay. In my case, I'm going to be using this five pin relay in order to wire up the motor shut off. And what I need is to hook a relay in so that I can connect the magneto to ground. And when I do that, then the engine on the mower will shut off. And I can do that either by turning the key off or I can do that by using a channel and a servo on the radio system. So here is a look at the emergency stop circuit. You can see here the relay and I've noted the pins. You can also see that I'm using a micro switch and I've noted the pin names on it as well as a indicator light which has a positive and a negative. Now all of this system works off of 12 volts. To start with we're going to hook up the relay and I'm going to use a light to indicate whether the system is active or not. Obviously, if the key is off, then the system will not be active and the engine will not start. So if the switch is turned on and this green light is on, well, then I know that the engine should start. So now let's go ahead and let me show you how I wire this up. Here you see I've wired up the positive side of the circuit. So we have coming from the key, when the key is turned on, I'm going to be sending power over to the positive side of this light bulb. Also, I'm sending power to the common side of the micro switch. And then I'm picking up on the normally closed side of the switch and connecting it to pin 86 of the relay. So this is the positive side of the circuit. And here we can take a look at the negative side of the circuit. So the first step is pin 87 from the relay needs to go to the negative wire on the bulb. And then pin 87A, that is going to be connected to the wire coming off the magneto on the engine. And then pin number 30 and pin number 85 are going to be connected to the chassis ground. The way the circuit works is whenever the key is turned on, I'm sending power on the positive side of the light bulb, and also I'm sending power down to the common pin on the micro switch, and then I'm coming off of the normally closed side of the micro switch and going to pin 86. And because I'm using the normally closed side of the switch, that simply means that power is going to run through the switch and go to 86 until the switch is pressed. Without the switch being pressed, I am getting current to pin number 86 and to the light bulb. So then if we take a look at the relay, whenever we supply power to pin 85 and pin 86, then we trip the relay. The relay is nothing more than a switch like you see here, the micro switch. It has a normally closed and a normally open side as well. And in this case, the normally open side is going to be pin number 87. And pin number 87A is the normally closed side. In other words, if you do not connect power to the relay, then pin 30 and pin 87A are connected. If we supply power to the coil, which activates the relay, then pin number 30 and pin 87 are disconnected, and pin 30 and 87 become connected. So therefore, as long as I have power going to the, the relay, then I have a ground connection between the ground and pin 87. And if I remove that power, then I no longer have the connection between pin number 30 and pin number 87. I then would have ground going from pin 30 to pin 87A, or 
from ground up to the magneto and therefore by grounding the magneto uh, the engine would shut off and of course would not start if you tried to start it. I'm using a channel on the radio in order to trigger this switch or I can use the key and simply turn off the circuit. So again as soon as I disconnect the 12 volt power then the engine is automatically grounded because I'm using the normally closed side of the relay. The normally open side is on pin 87. The normally closed side is on pin 87A. Here's a look at the relay board mounted in the control box. I will be doing videos on the other circuits such as the steering, the deck raising and lowering, blades engaging, disengaging, remote start, and backup alarm. These are all functions that I've achieved using the DX5R from Spectrum.